Hello there, it's Zach from ArtistEarTutorial.com and today I'm going to show you how to swap the side of your page that your sidebar is on. This is kind of our end result before I've done any styling whereas this is how my site currently is so I'm going to show you how to switch sides. For me it's going to be a little more tricky than it might be for you because I have a sheet with uh, rounded edges and I also have a border on the side of my sidebar so if you have like a square sidebar with no particular border then this tutorial will be even quicker for you so this by the way might not be 100% how your site is laid out and I'm not entirely sure sorry for the dog shaking uh, so let me know if it doesn't help but um, the way artist Deer lays out themes is that it has the header file and then it has the Gosh, I'm so sorry for my dog. Uh, it has the header file, and then if your uh, sidebar is on the right side, what it'll do is right after the header, it'll open up this whole content area, and it'll uh, begin the cell for this like content area. And then after all of that, it'll insert the sidebar into the footer. Whereas if you have the sidebar over here on the left, I would imagine it'll put it in the header uh, and then it'll not have anything in the footer because it's not over there. So I know that might sound confusing, so I'll just get into it and you'll see what I'm talking about. So within my dashboard, let me get out of this so it's not confusing. Within my dashboard, I'm going to hover over Appearance and then click Editor. And remember, mine's on the right. So if yours is on the left, you're going to just follow this, and then after you see what I'm doing, you'll do it kind of backwards in a sense. So um, I mentioned that the header starts that first cell and then it ends and then the sidebar is in the footer. So if I go here into the footer.php file I see that right here after this closing div there's this get sidebar dot uh, well it's just this get sidebar PHP function. So what I'm going to do is select this and hit control C to copy it and then I want to preserve this code while not deleting it. So what I'm going to do is comment out the PHP code. So I'm going to do a slash and then a star. And that begins a PHP comment. And then a star and a slash to end it. So I'm doing those slashes and stars within the PHP tag. And I'm going to update that. And just to show you what that directly did, if I refresh my site, it should go away. So there we go. We don't see a sidebar. So now what I'm going to do is go into my header.php. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, I see that where it ends, it starts a row. This art content layout row is it opening up the row that holds two columns. And then it starts this cell, which is where my content is. So it stands to reason that if I want my sidebar to be on the left, that is before the content, so maybe it'll work if I just paste it right here. So I'm going to get back to where it is, and I'm just going to paste in this PHP get sidebar statement and update it. So now if I refresh, ta-da, it works. So if your sidebar is on the left, you want it to move it to the right, you'll need to go into your header.php, look for this get sidebar, copy it, then comment it out, and then if you go into your footer file, you should paste it right after this first closing div. Uh, because this first closing div is going to be closing that cell. Um, and I'm trying to think strategically here. If yours is on the left, this closing div might actually be inside your... Uh, sorry for my dogs again. This closing div might actually be within your page template. So if you paste it here and it looks funky, just let me know. And I'll create a new artist here project to show you. So getting back to it though, I see that it is indeed in the correct spot, but my border is still on the left side, and my straight edge is on the left side, whereas the rounded is on the right. So this is going to require some CSS reworking on my part. And if you don't have Google Chrome, that's my favorite browser for inspecting code. So what I can do in Google Chrome, I can right click over here and click inspect element. And when I hover over some of the HTML in here, it'll actually highlight it on the page, as you can see. So I'm hovered over this uh, sidebar area, and then if I look on the right, I can see some of the styles. So 
I'm going to scroll down, and uh, what's really cool is you can actually uncheck things to see what they do. So if I uncheck this border radius one, I would expect that it would uh, get rid of the rounded borders, but I think the border radius itself is for perhaps Internet Explorer. Maybe the WebKit would affect it. So it looks like for Chrome, it uses this WebKit one, and then it backs up to this normal border radius. And when you're outlining radiuses or uh, like margins or anything where you're doing it all in one line, the way it works is that this first digit is for the top, second digit is for the right, third digit is for the bottom, and then if there was a fourth digit, it would be for the left. So this is basically saying there's no radius on the top, no radius on the right, there is a 10 pixel radius on the bottom, and then there's no radius on the left. Uh, so it's, I guess, kind of funky with border radius, but you can see right now if I was to change this to be, let me scroll up, if I was to change this to be 10 pixels here, it would add this radius to the top part. So what I need to do to get that looking correct is basically switch where this radius is. Um, and then additionally, I see that there's a border left of 5 pixels, and I can uncheck that to remove it. I'm going to need to change that to a border right. Uh, so the easiest way to change this is to look right here where it shows what class this is. So it's Art Content Layout Space Art Sidebar 1. I'm going to just select this and hit Control c to copy it. Now if I go back into my theme editor, scroll all the way down to the bottom to the stylesheet.css, so here I am in the style sheet. If I hit Control f as in Frank, it brings up this find window, and I can just paste that in here, and it'll take me right to it. So the first change I'm going to do that's the, by far the easiest is I'm going to change it so that it's a border on the right side and click update. I like to do my changes bit by bit. That way if I screw something up, I'll either be able to remember what I did or have it like cut so I can just paste it back in. And I would suggest that you do the same because the worst thing is when you fuck something or <clears throat> screw something up and you have no idea how to fix it. So we see that the border looks good but there's still this radius over here and there's not over here. So remember, this is um, the top, I believe, and then this would be the right, and this is the bottom, and this is the left, which is where I want it. So if I go back here into my theme editor, what I can actually do is just add a zero and a space in front of this. My dogs are just getting so in the way. She's here trying to lick my mouse hand as I'm typing. All right, so I added that, so now it should move that border to the next position. Now if I refresh it, we see that it did indeed do that. We have a straight border here, a rounded border there, and overall, it's looking pretty sexy. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. I know that sometimes this stuff, because it varies so much from site to site, can be a little bit difficult if you're following a tutorial that's not for your own website. So again, let me know if you have questions. and. Please leave a comment, it really helps me make my videos better, and you can do that right below. And of course, if you're looking to become an Artist Year Pro, be sure to check out my tutorial at artistyeartutorial.com, where I walk you step by step through creating great websites with Artist Year. Thanks so much, and I hope to hear your feedback.